I look at the second part of bringing a list into jQuery mobile that's going to be the, the loading script as well as styling the list once it comes in to your mobile. Again, uh, to recover, we're going to create a new page. In the body, we're going to set up a data source. But again, for right now, it serves its purpose. Now the question is, how are we going to style that so that it looks like something we'll be bringing into jQuery Mobile? I mean, it's not enough that you could definitely bring it in. That's that's great. Oops, actually, I don't want to keep something just move my hand. You're going to open up whatever your jQuery Mobile page is, and you're going to simply insert. All right. First part's pretty simple. This is the loading script. You know, just regular document on load. I put a div in the body called load links. And again, that URL that I just saved it out as, that's what this will be here. And then of course, when the load's gonna load into the content and pull it in. And again, the reason why you do want to do that so it is dynamic. Second part is again, the only thing I'm gonna say is in, in the CSS file, in the div of load links, which again is referenced here, I want you to, you know, display this block. I want to change the text to white, font color to white. And then I have all this information here. Now granted, what I would suggest doing is using something like the ultimate CSS gradient generator, picking out one of these or setting your own and then it will give you all the code that you need to create it up. Just copy and paste that as part of your background information. And so let me preview this in browser just so you can see what one looks like. Of course this is in a This is in uh, Firefox, so it doesn't look as good as it would in Safari, uh, as far as for your iPhone. But as you can see, you get your little gradients, you get your white background, and then now it at least looks like something that can be a little bit more user-friendly um, for your mobile site. And again, pull it into jQuery uh, mobile. It's a, it's a great one to use for something like this. All right? If you have any questions, drop me a line. Bye-bye.